I built a bonsai bench a while back to uh, hold a bunch of uh, tiny plants as we were playing around with the idea of growing bonsai. I made this bench out of one by six red cedar. Honestly, I made it out of fence boards. I think it's the beauty of this design is that the whole thing was made out of fairly inexpensive wood, just one by six fence boards, western red cedar, that you can buy pretty much at any home center. Uh, there's sort of a downside now in that most of the fence boards you find at the home centers are only five-eighths thick instead of a full three-quarters, but you can still find three-quarter inch wood, and perhaps this would work with the five-eighths inch material as well, but the beauty of this bench was it was made out of, uh, I would say, very inexpensive material that you can find at the home center. It's got four shelves. Three of them are for display, kind of staggered, and a fourth one down below is for storage because you always have a zillion extra pots. Uh, here it is with no plants on it. I've also kind of plumbed it for drip irrigation so that with uh, a single connection to the bench, all of the plants get a few drops every other day uh, to keep them kind of trouble free, uh, not needing a lot of attention. It's got little raised sections, I'll explain later, where you can display plants and uh, it just is a very handy bench. Here's the timer I use to control the drip irrigation. Here's the entire bench, empty. Again, you've got to go to the home center and it, it, you've got to go to the kind of place where they'll let you sort of go through the pile so you don't end up with wood like this that is cupped but you try to find nice, flat, full three-quarter inch pieces. Here's how it goes together. I'm just showing you a very quick animation. You kind of build it from the bottom up, again, out of uh, all the same material, three-quarter inch by five and a half inch, one by six cedar. And here's sort of an animation of how this thing goes together. I've also got some dimensions here. Here's a side dimension. This is every measurement you need for the thing is either on this slide or on the next slide. And I would recommend you take a screenshot of this page. I'm going to show these again at the end so that you can get another screenshot. All you need is six foot lumber. The longest board on this thing is only six feet long. The posts are also made out of three-quarter inch material. They're three inches square, and I built them like this, so the front face would have no seams in it. Again, super simple construction, all of it out of fence boards. I went about building it like this, and if you want to skip this part, you can just go to the end and take the screenshot of the, of the dimensions, and you'd have everything. I used these two-by-two two concrete pavers as the base and you basically build the posts first. I put these little feet on them so that over time the end grain of the wood would not soak up moisture and rot too prematurely. You put these little braces on and just lay the pieces down, the shelves down one at a time, filling in around the posts that you cross. There's a second layer here that lays on those braces. Again, just lays on from the top, and you do the infill of the missing boards. These are one and three quarter wide, and they're spaced an inch and a half apart. So it's a board, two boards worth of space, and another board. Again, I went an inch and three quarters because when you're ripping a five and a half inch fence board, you can get three of these boards out of each fence board. I cap the posts with little shelves for display purposes. It kind of raises up the plant and it works for a nice display. Here it is a rendering. Uh, as I was building it, I wanted to see what it would look like before it was finished. And here it is finished, kind of loaded up with plants. And again, here at the end are a couple of screenshots of dimensions. Again, you could take a shot of these and you'd have every measurement you need for the bonsai bench. 
Again, these are inch and a half spacing, and the boards are an inch and three quarter wide. So there you have it. If you are interested in the dimensions, again, just take a screenshot of those two screens. Here is the finished bench. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And if you have enjoyed it, please subscribe. Thanks again.